Yeah, I get that. My driver said he was the first one to arrive this morning to pick up your load, and he was supposed to make an appointment. Well, you should have said that yesterday. Well, can you make an exception? I mean, he's only got 14 hours. If he's got to sit around and wait three hours to load, that's only going to give him 11 hours to get all the way to Texas. That's kind of really close, man. Well, he could end up having to spend the night somewhere along the way and not make the delivery on time. And on top of that, he's got to reload after he drops yours off. Yes, sir. We'll make it happen. I'll just have to readjust. Hey, Paul. Yeah, I talked to him, man. Look, I'm sorry, but you're just going to have to wait. Well, they just went to appointments this week, and they didn't tell me that yesterday. Well, thanks for being a good sport about it, man. Appreciate it. This is... Oh. Hey, Paul. Greenville, Delaware? Are you kidding me? They told me Greenville... Dude, they told me Texas. Greenville, Texas. I swear to you, Paul. I'm sorry, man. Can you still do it? Great. All right. Thanks a lot, Paul. I know. Listen. Look, I'm looking for another load in Delaware for you to pick up right now. I'm sure I'll find you something. Just, I'll just let you know, okay? You just go ahead and tell them to start loading, all right? Thanks, man. Hey, Paul? Is everything all right? You don't have enough chains. Well, it's a good thing you're not too far from the terminal. How many do you need? All right, I'll just have somebody drive some over to you. Okay, just start tying down with what you have and let them know I'm bringing more to you. Hi, this is Matt. Oh, hi, yeah, I just talked to the driver. He was going to tell you that we're bringing more over right now. It won't fit on the trailer. Well, how tall is it? <laughs> At that height, you're going to need a low pro step deck. And it's 55,000 pounds. Dude, listen, your guy said it was going to be legal. All right, that way we need a three axle low pro step deck. All your guy asked for was a regular. Well, I'm sorry, but your guy didn't. I know, I know, look. I get it. All right, we let you down. I'm sorry. All right, let me just see if I can find another. No, please don't. Don't do that. Hello? Hello? Hey, Paul? I'm sorry, man. I got bad news. Sorry. Hey, quit monkeying around, you guys. This is Matt. You need a step deck in the morning? Loading at your place? Okay. Uh, where are we going? Greenville, Texas. You got the address? You don't have a zip code? No, I don't have zip code. Okay, just make sure that it's on the paperwork you give to the driver, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and what are you shipping and what are the dimensions and the weight? Well, I don't have the right now. Oh, you don't have that? No, I don't have Well, uh, can you give me a ballpark dimension and weight for me? I just want to make sure we don't need any permits, you know? Great. Thanks. Uh, when does this need to be delivered? Next morning. It's about 790 miles. That's kind of close. I mean, he may not make it there if there's any delays. Uh, well, 
I'll let the driver know it's urgent and it needs to be there first thing in the morning, okay? You're welcome. All right, the load is in the system now and we should have a driver lined up within a few hours. I'll just give you a call. Thank you. I hope he makes it happen. Hi, this is Matt from Bennett, where safety is priority one. How can I help you? Oh, you need a step deck tomorrow morning. Okay, hang on one second. Going to Greenville, Texas. Sure, we can get you a driver, but hang on a second. Let me just get my checklist. Okay, and we're picking it up at your address. All right, okay, are you still on Granite Street? Now, I know we've picked up from you numerous times, but do you require an appointment? Oh, so you do now. Okay, hang on one second. Well, I'm glad I asked. What time is available tomorrow morning? Okay, you got it. So our driver needs to be there at 9.30 a.m. with a step deck. Let me see. Okay, that's 790 miles. You know, even if the driver's starting out from scratch on hours, that's going to be almost impossible, I'm afraid. The driver can only drive for 11 hours a day, and with traffic on the East Coast these days, we estimate 500 miles. And then, of course, they have to go off duty for 10 hours. So if you can get me an appointment for 5 or 6 p.m. that day, I think we can do it. Okay, great. So we'll have it there by 6 p.m. Uh, oh, no, no, we're not done yet. I need to make sure that we can deliver your product safely without incident and on time. To do that, I just need to take a few more minutes to go over some details. Is that okay? Okay, great. Thank you so much. Uh, do you have a pickup number? Great, that's going to help the driver. Okay. Now, what about loading? Are we going to be doing this from a dock or a mobile crane? Now, has your policy changed with regard to specific site requirements? Uh, what I mean is, are there any dress codes or any other restrictions? No pets. <laughs> All right, that's a new one. Well, that's why we have this comprehensive checklist. We know that policies change all the time with our clients, and we just want to make sure that we get it right. Of course, that's our job. No, just a few more things. Hang on one second. Now, can you please describe the commodity that's being transported? It's not hazardous or anything, right? Okay, great. And what about the value of the cargo? Okay, good. Now, can you give me the physical dimensions and the weight, please? I'm sorry, but I can't take ballpark dimensions. You've got to give me the exact dimensions or I can't send a truck over there tomorrow. Is there any way that you can call somebody in the shipping department? Sure, that's great, I can wait. Okay, you got the info, great. Now, does this load require any special securement instructions? I wanna make sure that the driver has all the right tools when he arrives tomorrow morning. Okay, so he needs to bring 20 chains and binders. That's great. Now, where exactly is he taking the load? And what I mean is I need the name of the company, street address, and zip code, please. I'm afraid that I'm gonna need that before we take the load off your yard tomorrow. Why? Actually, it's simple. There are a lot of cities that have streets with that same exact name. I mean, we've had trucks end up in the wrong locations that aren't designed for big rigs, and it can create a safety issue, unfortunately. That's, that's fine. I can wait. Hi, that was quick. Hold on one second. You know, according to this, this is saying that that zip code is for Greenville, Delaware not Greenville, Texas. Hey, it's okay, man. No problem. I'm just glad that we caught that. Uh, I need to check the miles, though. Hold on one second, please. 
Hmm, that distance is actually closer, so we're still good. Let me just check my list here. Okay, now we are all set, except I still need the dimensions and the weight, please. Yeah, no worries. Just give me a shout back when you're here. That's wonderful. Thank you so much. Hi, this is Matt from Bennett, where safety is priority one. How can I help you? Oh, you got the dimensions. Great. One second, please. Okay, so the load is nine foot six by eight feet. Wait a second. You know, at that height, you're gonna need a low pro step deck. What's the weight on that? 55,000 pounds. You're actually gonna need a three axle low pro deck. You know, regular low pro can't scale weight. Okay, no problem. That's why we go over everything so thoroughly. That would have been a disaster if I had sent the driver over there with a regular trailer. <laughs> yep, we're good. We can actually book this load now. Thank you so much. We'll talk to you soon. Yeah, but Paul, don't you just have a regular step deck? Why don't you plan on coming by the yard this afternoon and picking up one of our three axle step decks? I'll just let the guys know you're coming. Okay, cool. I'll get you assigned to the load and transmit the electronic order over to your tablet. And just be sure you go over all the details of the pickup and delivery and call me if you have any questions, okay? All right, buddy. Thanks a lot and good luck. I'll talk to you soon. See you, man. 